relocating to Florida. Are you thinking of relocating to Florida? Hi, my name is Sandy Sills. I'm a licensed realtor here in Central Florida. And I would like to do a little, little conversation with you regarding relocating to Florida. What are some of the things that you should know? What are some of the things you're looking for? What are the best areas to choose from? How do I know where to move to in Florida? So Florida, we have the south side, the north side, and then we have Central Florida. Central Florida is a theme park corridor. So that's where all the theme parks are. Disney World, Universal, SeaWorld. And then in Tampa, we have another theme park up there, Bush Gardens. And um, so people tend to go to both areas. We also have on the outskirts of the theme parks, we have Legoland, which is also a part of Central Florida, right? So if you have kids, you probably want to be closer to where the parks are. Maybe not, I don't know, but Central Florida might be your pick. If you love the beaches, you might be thinking, well, maybe we should do Miami or Fort Lauderdale or Boynton Beach or the West Palm area. But the thing is, guys, in Central Florida, we have so many beaches around us. We're an hour to an hour and a half away from any given beach. We have, we're an hour and 15 minutes from Clearwater Beach. We're maybe an hour and a half from Siesta Keys, Sarasota. We are maybe an hour from Daytona Beach. Maybe an hour from Cocoa Beach. Maybe an hour and 15 minutes from Melbourne Beach. If we want to go to the Palm Coast area, which I love, we're about an hour and a half from that location. So we're still close to the beaches and we're still not far from the theme parks, right? Um, you could choose an area that could give you an hour to the beach or an hour to the theme park so you get the best of both worlds. But what about living? What about actually living in Florida? What does my life look like? I don't want to be all theme park or beach out. I want to have an actual life. So if that's the case, that is actually awesome. Because also, we have beautiful neighborhoods, gated communities, gated communities with 24 hour security, or a regular neighborhood with no gates. And all our neighborhoods are very family oriented. You could live in the art of Orlando, which is hustle and bustle, or you could live on the outskirts of Orlando, which is not. Let's take Tampa, for instance. We have the middle of Tampa, which is the hustle and the bustle, and then we have all these towns on the outskirts of Tampa, like Lando Lakes, Wesley Chapel. They're doing a lot of building in these areas, Riverview, Gibsonton, and all these other areas that you don't really hear about. But if somebody lived in those areas, they would literally say they live in Tampa. I choose to do a video today and they choose to do construction today behind me, right? So forgive the construction noises and think about the beautiful beaches instead, right? Okay, what about schools, right? How are the schools in Florida? There's a website called greaterschools.com that you can literally go to and you can look at any school. You can look at the ratings. You can look at how many kids are in the school. You can look at teachers to rate, um, teacher to student ratio and all these different stuff. So that's a decide, if that is a, if that's a deciding factor I need coffee, then that's one way you could also choose as well, right? But where should I relocate to? I chose Central Florida for myself because I figured I would not be near the coast if there's in the, in the case of a hurricane, right? I figured I'd probably have less insurance by living in Central Florida. And also, if I want to go to the beach, I could just drive an hour to get to the beach and I could choose which coast I want to be on if I want to do the Gulf side or if I want to do the Atlantic side. Because we have, we're in the middle of both beaches in Central Florida, believe it or not, without driving all the way to Miami. When I first moved there, I used to explore the area, right? So every weekend we would drive somewhere, which is what I love about Florida. You could explore the area on the weekends or even during the week, depends upon your work schedule, without having to jump on a plane. So if I'm in Central Florida, I could do four hours, three hours I'm in Fort Lauderdale, maybe three and a half hours to Miami, maybe about two and a half hours to Boynton Beach if I wanted to go on that side, maybe two hours to West Palm Beach. If I want to go on the other side, in three hours I'm probably in Fort Myers, in four hours I'm probably in Naples, and then I could do the Pan Angle, like Destin Beach is probably about six hours from where we are right now. If I want to do Jacksonville, like Amelia Island, that's about two hours. So I like the fact that you could actually live here and you could still be on vacation in various different areas based upon where you live. That's a really great place about Florida. It's also very tropical, right? So now you're in tropical living and it's a whole lot different living than living in a cold state like New York, where I live for many years, right? There's no, you don't have to switch your clothing that much. Another thing is Central Florida do tend to get a little bit of wintery, if that makes sense. So for the last two weeks, I've been going in with some, you know, colder weathers overnight. 
and some cold weather is a few days but the, few, the funny thing is if it does get cold for a few days it's really only for a few days it might be cold for two days and the third day it's sunny like yesterday was a little bit um, on the cold side today it's 77 degrees and I'm outside and sleeveless yesterday even it was a little bit chilly I think our eyes was in the 60s I have a light jacket on right so it doesn't get cold and stay cold and icy and snowy all winter long which is what I love but if you want to be warmer if you didn't want to experience any kind of cooler breeze then the Miami Fort Lauderdale area may be your choice because it's south right and the more south you go the warmer it gets right and if you didn't if you want to have a little bit of the four season and still live in Florida then you could go to the northern side like Ocala, Fort Myers, um, uh, the villages over in that area um, Lady Lake those areas are going to be a little bit colder or even the Penango like Destin Beach right they're not going to be as cold as New York and nobody want that kind of cold or as Canada but you still will experience some kind of wintery cold stuff like that right so if you're thinking of relocating we're here to answer all your questions when it comes to Florida you could text or call us at 407-791-4713 and we will give you all the information you need we're experts we have a team of agents that work across Florida it doesn't matter what location you choose, we will be able to help you with that decision. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you on the next video.